Hello and welcome to the next session of interview preparatory course on top 50 SQL interview questions. Hope you are excited to solve another SQL question. So let's get started. In this session, we will try to display the first n rows or lost n rows in SQL and related problems on that. We have a table EMP which consists of seven rows. So before uh, starting the exact question, so first you should know about this row num pseudo column. Select row num comma e name from EMP. So it will assign a sequential number to each and every row. And this row num column cannot be, uh, cannot be used directly in the sense you should only use alias and subquery approach and it will not work for is equal to and greater than operator whenever you use directly so definitely use subquery and alias and one more thing is that you should know about the count function select count of star from emp it will fetch the number of rows present in the table so we have having seven rows so those are the prerequisites for solving this question so let's pick up our question the first question is display first and last row of the table so how can we do that select star from emp select row num r comma e name comma sal so this is the alias for row num so a, a temporary storage of all the row num values will be stored there from which table emp you can display any columns as you you must place all this in a subquery you select to star from and in that you should place your required query in a subquery where now specifically first row is nothing but r equal to 1 and or so not only first row make use of this or condition or r equal to 7 directly can you write 7 no directly you cannot write 7 because they will not tell you how many rows present in the table that you should know r equal to 1 it's a gen common sense that the first row will be row number will be 1 but here what you should do make use of the count function select count of star from em now what happens this will fetch the value 7 that means we want the first row and we want the last row that means the seventh r equal to 7 is nothing but the seventh row that means select a count of star from emp will return the value 7 this is how we can solve the query we'll move on to another question the next question is display last two rows of the table so in two ways you can uh, solve this uh, problem first select star from emp what will happen it will fetch all the seven rows of the table but we want only last two rows so what we need to do we need to cut this first five rows from the display so for that you need what you will do is that make use of this minus operator select the star from emp minus which rows you need to cut the first five rows select star from emp where row num less than or equal to what you will write uh, they will not tell you how many rows present in the table so make use of the count function row num less than or equal to 5 we want to cut the first five rows that means we need to display the first row that means uh, row num less than or equal to 5 so how we can know that 5 that means we need to do the number of rows in the table they will not tell you the number of rows present in the table so what you know select make use of the count function select count of star from emp so count of star will fetch you 7 so we want 5 right just use minus 2 select count of star from emp is nothing but row num less than or equal to 5 that means from the 7 records you are eliminating the first 5 records by using this minus operator very simple right these are the last two records but the disadvantage of this approach is we are unable to display row number along with the column so we have one more approach that is the previous approach similar to previous approach so in this approach select star from select row num r comma e name comma star from emp so what uh, we want we want last two records that means r greater than select count of star minus 2 select count of star minus that means it will fetch the value 5 r greater than 5 what rows will be greater than 5 which row number will be greater than 5 row number 6 and row number 7 so record number 7 and record number 7 the advantage of this approach is that we are able to display row number as well and if you want to display entire uh, record that means if you want to display all the columns of the table so instead of uh, explicitly specify just do one thing just to specify emp dot asterisk this will fetch you all the columns of the emp table including the row number so record number 6 and record number 7 now with this uh, you can also display first record uh, in the same we can also display last year records or first year records whatever it may display first and last two rows of the table this will fetch you this condition will fetch you the last two rows and if you want first two rows simply where r in 1 comma 2 that means row number must exist 
in one or two here you are using count function because you don't know number of uh, rows present in the table that you are fetching from count function but in one comma two it is a common sense the first two records will be row number one and row number two one one two that means the first two records and six seven that is the last two records so this is the most optimized approach that i have given to you so with the help of this you can solve any query re related to ordering of records that means first n records or last n records or any records now if you uh, if you take like this where uh, modulus of r comma 2 it will remi return reminder when you divide by 2 what will happen only even records will be displayed if you take like this only odd records will be displayed mod of r comma 2 that means you are dividing the row each row number by 2 and with the help of reminder equality you are displaying the records so very easy no very interesting as well if you have enjoyed the session and it is really helpful to you don't forget to like the video also do share your questions with us in the comment section Let's solve them together and help other geeks as well. Thanks for watching.